folks. Welcome back to Live in Texas at Hidden Spring Farm. Well, as you can see, we got some frozen precipitation, just like they said. We we're supposed to get about two inches of snow and ice, and it looks like we got that much. We got to go out and feed the animals this morning and uh, bust up some ice in their troughs. We've got one heater that works on the trough, but we don't have electricity yet to the other ones. So we got to do a little manual labor. Give you a little peek at the animals this morning. Right now it feels like temperature outside, according to the weather channel on the app, is five degrees. And I think it's uh, 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Might be a little colder, I don't know. I checked it early this morning, about 30 minutes before I came out here. Here's a trough right here that's it's got the heater in it. Everything looks fine in it. We gotta take care of the other ones. Right now we gotta get the animals fed. Y'all come on and join us. Well, as you can see, we got a few things we got to get done. And it is chilly out here. I know you guys up north are used to it. But it gets cold here in Texas a couple of snaps here in the winter. But, uh, man, the wind's what's crazy for us. We live up on a hill and it's constantly blowing. Right now that wind is cold, making my big nose froze.
I know you guys couldn't see that, but that was funny. Our chickens, <laughs> it's the first time they've ever seen snow and they don't want to come out of the coop and they're walking real fast on <laughs> let me give you a shot of these goobers the guineas the guinea doesn't want to come out there's only been a couple of hens come out so far Most of the hens are staying inside. We got a couple of them that came out. Three of them looks like, maybe four over here with the bull while he's trying to eat. They get his droppings when he turns his head. Let's go in here. There's the guinea picking out. What's going on, Mr. Guinea? First time seeing snow. And here's the other chickens in here like, it's a total disappointment. Shut the gate, dude. <laughs> That's funny, man. Well, it's time. We got to get this ice busted for this bull trough. Let's see how bad it got last night. Not that bad. I thought it was going to be a whole lot worse than that. Well, I should have brought my rake with me. My hay fork. It's not supposed to get above freeze until Wednesday. So we'll have to do this several times and uh, get him taken care of. We also got to go over and bust up the ice in the calves trough. They're the ones that need it more. So let's get that taken care of. Get him opened up so he can get back over there and drink some water. Yep, sometimes you look forward to this, and sometimes you don't. Let's go get the calves. Well, hello, Miss Phoenix. Are you with Mama this morning? This is your first snow also. What do you think, Miss Phoenix? Uh, no, it's not Miss Phoenix. Man, I screwed that up. That's Miss Piper. Miss Piper and Celeste, her mother. So, we're gonna go in here and take care of uh, Phoenix and Penny. That's Miss Penny, Penny right here, closest to you, and that's Miss Phoenix behind them. We got a bunch of ice off the little makeshift all we did for them on that other video see if we can, see if we can get this busted up for the little girls They'll take care of the little girls. We gotta let Evie out. She, we had to, we had to separate Miss Evie over there because her calf is weaning. 
and she was going crazy. So when we feed, we have to separate her out because the older cows will run her off. So we'll get her opened up and we'll be done other than hauling water out and topping off the, the troughs. All right, Miss Celeste. Watch out. Get out of the way, Miss Celeste. Good girl, baby. Good girl. You just want to go in and see her. Let's see if he has anything left. Good girl. All right, y'all have at it. Teddy, you good? You got ice in there, buddy? All right. Y'all say hello to Miss Cadence. Miss Cadence is a beautiful cow. She put out Penny. And she is a good mama. With the snow coming in now, I think we're probably going to be up around maybe three or four inches. close you know hauling this water back and forth can seem like it's a pain but I'll be quite honest with you man I'm grateful that I'm the age I am and that I'm able to physically do it and mentally think about doing it man we are just blessed God has been so good to this family man there's ups and downs and there's tough times but man he's the solid one not to mention, I enjoy doing this stuff. All right, guys, this is the last one we're gonna put in here and then we're gonna work on the girls. They get us up there for the big mamas. We'll work on that. Hey, baby girl. You want your back scratch? Good girl. All right, I'm gonna take one of these buckets and go put some of it in the chicken coop since I was uh, not supposed to let the chicken water freeze last night I did Let's see what we can do for these chickens no Miss Celeste you don't get any of the chicken stuff I can get that ice out of here. There we go. All right, chicken. Give me some water. Have at it. Cows get the rest. I tell you what, I'm grateful for that heater that we got running to the this one trough. Next year we'll have electricity out here and water out here and we won't be hauling buckets. Anyway folks, we got a little bit of chores taken care of this morning. We still got a few more to go. My hands are pretty frozen in these work gloves right now. Got them a little bit wet. So I'm gonna go change out gloves and get back busy on some of these other chores we got this morning. Hey, listen, if you don't mind, will you hit that subscribe button and also click that like button? We sure appreciate every one of you guys that are uh, following the channel. And if you can, tell a friend or so. We're just on, we're only, uh, 
I think 317 away from a thousand subscribers. Man, that blows my mind. So if you don't mind, get a friend to subscribe. Let's see if we can break a thousand subscribers by March. Let's do it by February. What are we talking about March? It's just now January. Anyway, see if you guys can help us out. Tell a friend. We sure appreciate it. Join us on another episode of Living Texas at Hidden Spring Farm. Y'all have a blessed day.